Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to give you guys my three year post-surgery update. So for those of you who don't know, three years ago on November 24th 2016 I had surgery on my nose. I had a septoplasty and a turbinoplasty. Basically my septum which is the cartilage stuff that divides your nose between the left and the right nostril. Um, mine was in a massive zigzag and it was, so basically this side of my nose was closed off at the bottom, open at the top and this was closed off at the top and open at the bottom. So basically I couldn't breathe that way. And I had severely, severely swollen turbinates in my nose as well. They're little airbags in the sides of your nose. You can't see them, feel them or anything like that. Basically my nose was excessively swollen and everything like that and I got myself addicted to the decongestant sprays etc etc uh, and one thing after another led to me having surgery to fix it so I did not end up doing a two-year post-surgery update I actually was filming it last year the morning we lost our cat Tinkerbell um, we had to have her put down and I tried four times to start that video off and in the end I scrapped it. My mum went out for breakfast. I thought great she'll be gone an hour and a half or so. Gives me half an hour to film it um, and I, I, I tried so hard and I thought you know this video is not going to work out and then we lost our cat Tinkerbell. I didn't film anything for well over a week and a half and then after that it just... I really didn't film anything much over the Christmas period. Um, but yeah, so I have a, a list of notes in my phone. I just sat here and wrote. Um, but yes, I did not do a two-year um, post-surgery update because of all the stuff that happened. But I will link my one-year and my six-month one down below. Uh, they're probably not the best, but you know. I was doing research on what the actual surgery entailed and the recovery and everything. I had all the pamphlets and everything my surgeon gave me. I still wanted to look it up. However, I could not find anyone's experience with it. So I thought I would sit down and film updates afterwards because I want people to know what my experience was like. Now I do want you to know this was not the massive surgery where I was having my nose cut open. I was not having a nose job. Technically, it was an internal nose job, um, but mine was to literally make me breathe again because I was not breathing properly. Uh, I just want to put that out there. This basically was not, uh, it was elective because I chose to have it on the specific day and time, but it was technically, it was 100% medically necessary. Um, I want to point out, start off with one thing saying I still do not regret it. I still think it was the best thing ever. However, there are some pointers I uh, really want to mention. So, um, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing I do have to point out is I don't really get the pain now. I think I mentioned every now and then I would just get this dull ache in my nose. Now, your nose is not made from bone. I do know that. But every now and then I would get this dull ache in my nose and it would just be enough to notice and enough to be annoying not even really enough to need pain medication or anything like that but it was enough to just be really annoying but i don't get that anymore another thing i do want to mention and it is slightly disgusting is my boogers and my snots actually get really stuck in my nose i could sit here with tissue after tissue blowing my nose and nothing will come out but i can feel it like when i do this i could feel it in there and there are times i have to get my tweezers and sterilize them and actually pull a booger out of my nose uh, on the other side of this it's also very very common for me to wake up with an excessively dry nose now at the moment I do currently have a bit of a cold. I have taken some cold and flu medicine so it has helped me a little bit but it is very common for me to wake up with an excessively dry nose. Those sinus wash things in like the peri bottles I think they're called that you rinse out your nose with saline. They are a godsend to me. I love it because it just adds that moisture back to my nose plus it cleans out my nose a lot more gentle and everything like that I, I really like those sometimes of a morning I have to get straight up and use them um, or things like that but I do think they are very much worth it um, I did have to use it in my recovery after the surgery as well 
um, but also I just use it now once a week even if I'm not sick or anything I still use it once to twice a week just to clean everything out because it can get up a lot further and better than what just blowing my nose can um, but I, I do very highly recommend using those they're so gentle and when the water's still warm and like it feels uh, honestly now the first few times I used it it was horrible you feel like you're drowning but now I'm used to doing it I know how hard to press the bottle and get the water pressure and stuff so I actually find it very like relaxing and calming back in June this year I had the flu so bad I think I mentioned um, in my my last update that I thought I had been battling a cold in like the March or something the March or the April that was not a cold that was a tiny sniffle that lasted like 10 hours I actually had the full-on flu in or we my doctor doesn't quite think it was the flu because he said there was some bacteria in my swabs and my tests and he put me on antibiotics. I got better from the antibiotics so it couldn't have been the flu from that but whatever. I'm just going to say I had the flu really bad. I had the aches and the pains and the chills. Honestly, I don't think I have ever... I don't think I've ever had something like that in my life. I mean, I felt like I was dying. I went to Sydney with my mum on the Monday. I'm not, I can't remember what, but this was in June. I went to Sydney with my mum on the Monday and I felt great. Came home, was a little bit tired because we've been walking around all day, but I felt totally fine and great and amazing. Woke up the Tuesday morning and we were going to go grocery shopping and I, I just didn't feel right. Felt like I was getting a bit of a cold, my throat really hurt, was really dry and a bit raspy and we were about halfway through. We basically, I got up, we I got dressed and we left straight away and my mum and I went and got breakfast out and then we went grocery shopping and so we're about halfway through shopping and I just had to call in sick to work already at like 9.30 in the morning. I was supposed to be doing our closing shift that night. And I had to call in sick then. Um, I went and sat outside while my mum finished the shopping. And basically when we were done, I came back home, put my pyjamas on, laid in bed. And by that night, I was shivering, but I was burning up. Everything hurt. My throat, I have never had a sore throat like that in my life. Not even when I woke up after the surgery because the tube that went down my throat kind of scratched my throat and everything. That was nothing compared to this. Like it got to the point where even just breathing in and out made my throat hurt. And I honestly like sometimes would let out this involuntary whimper. I couldn't swallow anything. My mouth felt swollen. Um, but I fully had the flu. Now I do have to say my nose didn't swell up as bad as what it used to. Um, prior to the surgery my nose was still swollen and you could hear that I was stuffy but at the same time it was like my nose was just running so bad and running so much I didn't know if it was because my nose was swollen a little bit or because of it literally being full of boogers and snot I don't know um, but yeah I did, I did um, I actually have a bit of a cold now I think I mentioned pretty sure I caught it off one of my co-workers I don't feel anywhere near as bad it's just stuffy in the nose I had a sore throat for a few days a little bit better today but I've still had to take something just to dry my nose up for these few hours and I will take something again to go to bed um, but I have noticed as well since I've had the flu because it's now November when I am filming this uh, so five months after I was really sick um, I still sometimes get my nose swelling up, like feeling like it's swelling up. Again, nowhere near as bad as it used to, but I can feel it, like it swells up a little bit or it tries to. Um, I do find myself, you know, panicking a little bit sometimes when I lay in bed and I lay in the wrong position or when I'm around a dusty area, my nose feels like it starts to swell. If I sneeze too much, my nose will be swollen for like well over an hour. It does kind of stress me out sometimes, but, um... Again, it's nowhere near as bad as what it used to, but I have noticed since I've been sick, my nose does swell up. You can't see it, but I can feel it. It does swell up a lot more than what it used to. Um, sometimes while I'm at work, I don't know if that's while I'm around the oily environment or what. At the moment it's not, but my sense of smell has actually improved out of sight. I have a glass here of no sugar vanilla coke, because we pretty much only buy diet drinks or no sugar. 
and I can smell that there's a difference between it and like normal coke or just coke zero before that I could not tell the difference um, before my surgery it wasn't until because I had it November 24th it wasn't until Christmas Day so a month after the surgery my mum actually had some chocolate I didn't realize that before my surgery I had never really smelled chocolate like yes I could obviously if you had a bar of chocolate I'd be like hmm I can smell chocolate but I never hadn't I hadn't really fully smelled chocolate and chicken raw or cooked that was one thing that this that I never really picked up on before um, but I can now tell the difference between even different flowers and things like that whereas before it would just smell like flowers I also wanted to point out that not only did I have my nose my septum reset and my turbinates uh, reduced but I also had the lining of my nose cauterized to try and prevent nosebleeds However, I'll get into that soon. Sometimes, like, the lining, like, up inside my nose burns really bad. Like, it doesn't actually burn. If my doctor looked up my nose, it wouldn't be red and raw. But it feels like it's burning. Particularly when I am, obviously, using things like some chemicals at work and stuff like that. But it's like, you could be using them out the back and I could be outside and it wafts out a little bit and, like, my nose burns. When it's really cold out, so, I mean, really cold for Australia type of thing. Maybe if I was in the US or something where it snows it would be a hell of a lot different um, or worse but when it's cold here my nose just burns and burns the lining. It gets to the point where my eyes start watering because it's like the lining of my nose just burns. It does at the moment because I have been sneezing all morning uh, I actually worked this morning from 6am till 11, that was great, after two days of no sleep, um, although I had like a very relaxing day yesterday, uh, but yeah, I um, the lining of my nose sometimes does burn to the point where um, it feels like my nose is on fire. Uh, even though they may make the lining of my nose burn, um, flowers, perfume and things like that no longer actually cause those allergic reactions that I used to have. So Vera Wang's original princess perfume, I love the smell of it but I never used to be able, I actually, even though I own it, I couldn't wear it for the longest time because every time I sprayed it, it would cause me just to sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. Uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Face Powder was exactly the same. Um, it would cause my nose to swell up and me just to continuously sneeze and sneeze and sneeze. Um, Jasmine was like that. Jasmine is a horrific allergy triggering flower. It's terrible. Um, but those things no longer do that. So yes, I might smell someone's perfume and it might burn my nose a bit. But I think that's more like if it's a really high alcohol content one, it doesn't actually make me sneeze and my nose swell and have that reaction. Sorry if I do keep looking to the side. Again, I've still got to have my mirror behind my camera. Um, according to a few people, I still snore. Now, my brother snores like a truck as well. My grandma apparently snores as well. My dad has always snored his entire life, so I don't know if it's just hereditary. But my stepsister, Sam, who actually lived with us for months before my surgery and then a few months afterwards, um, she actually said that after my surgery, once everything had healed, so like after the Christmas, I started snoring really loud. She could get up in the middle of the night, because her bedroom was next to mine, and go to the toilet or get a drink or something, and uh, she could hear me snoring, and I think I do, because there are sometimes I wake up with like a real dry mouth, sore throat, and it's just, it's going to sound really dumb, but it's like, yeah, I know I've been snoring. So to go along with that, um, I often do wake up with a very dry, like, sore throat. Not necessarily, like, stinging sore or anything, but I will often wake up with a sore throat. Um, very, very dry throat and mouth. Also, something I have noticed the past, I want to say, six months or so, I have started drooling in my sleep really, really bad. It's gotten to the point where there's times where my body's asleep, but my mind is awake and I'm laying on my side and literally all the saliva that's in my mouth just tips over, say I'm lying on my side, all the saliva that's in my mouth just tips over the side of my lips and just pours out my mouth. But because my body's asleep, I can't move, but I know it's happening. Um, probably should look into that as well. Uh, sleeping now, okay, when I have a cold and stuff, it's different. 
but uh, sleeping now is no longer an issue due to my breathing problems. If I have a sleeping issue now, it's usually my foot hurts too much, the rest of my body hurts, or my brain is too far too awake because I've watched something too energetic or uh, I don't know, whatever. I'm overtired, my body sometimes goes out of whack, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yes. Still back to being really tired, although right now actually I feel fine considering I'm sick and haven't slept in two days and got up to work at 5am. Um, putting on makeup doesn't feel strange or anything anymore. The first couple of months or even the first year after surgery, um, you know, getting a makeup sponge and just pouncing foundation over my nose really felt funny because I was so worried that if I like pressed hard enough, I'd break my nose. Honestly, that's what it felt like. As time goes on, my nose feels a lot more stable. But it's still, it's always there in the back of my mind. Like sometimes I'll just go like this or I'll sneeze and I'll feel like my nose crack. You know, like when you crack your knuckles, I'll feel that happen. And it's so strange. Um, another thing is I am never allowed to get my nose pierced. Whether it's on the side, septum piercing or anything. Because the risk of infection then sort of undoing everything is too high. Um, the fact also that my other piercings and everywhere have all got infected. Um... I'm just not running the risk, but also, for example, septum piercing is worse than, like, just on the side. Um, if I got that done and it went wrong, it could now break the cartilage in my nose because I am now a lot more susceptible to having a broken nose um, because I have had my nose surgically broken type of thing. Ah, uh, something that still happens is I often feel like my nose is twitching. Something also the past few weeks, my eyes have been twitching as well, and that is really annoying. Um, but sometimes I will feel like my nose is twitching, and it's almost like I can go, like I'm going like this, but like I can feel it right in the end of my nose too. And sometimes I'll sit here and I'll stare in the mirror, and I swear my nose moves, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but like it twitches so much I swear I feel my nose actually moving but it's like all the nerves in there just settling down hasn't done it in a while so I'm saying like six eight months nine months more um, probably now the spring and the summers here might actually be affected a bit more but yeah I don't um, my um, nose twitches sometimes and it's really so bad like when it gets really bad I feel like my top lip is twitching um, so that's a little strange, but, uh, and I'm still very, very protective of my face. If something happens, if I was to fall over, if something was to blow up or explode, my first instinct now is to protect my face. It never used to be, um, it used to be just crouch down and sort of protect the middle part of me. It's gonna sound really dumb. Like, when I fell and broke my foot, uh, beforehand, I probably would not have even tried to protect my face. I think the reason why I landed so hard and just hurt everything is because I tried. I actually tried to put my arms up like this in front of my face. I had my keys in one hand and my phone and my wallet in the other. When I broke my foot two years ago, I think had I had my arms down here, probably I probably would have broken my arms if I'd had my arms further down. Um, but also probably would have done less damage to my foot because I wouldn't have fallen as hard. Like... Deep down, back of my mind, I am very worried. <laughs> Everything's gonna just whack me in the face. Shadow has this beautiful habit of wanting kisses all the time. So what she'll do is she'll put her head down and she'll literally like headbutt you in the mouth or nudge her head against your against your mouth. So um like you can give her a kiss and it's like she'll lean her head against your mouth so you can give her a kiss. Um, but there have been times where the little bugger has head butted me in the nose. Now she's five and a half kilos and she's quite strong um, but she hasn't bumped me that hard but it's been very sensitive like not as painful but I am a little bit wary about that now when she starts to get her head very close to my mouth. Um, she has head butted me in the nose about five times now. So medication wise when I'm sick of things I am not allowed to touch the decongestant sprays, they are way too addictive. Also, I don't have a reason to be using it every day. Um, so I'd rather keep something that does last a bit longer anyway, because those do have a expiry date. Um, but I, I'm not allowed to touch them anymore and quite frankly don't want to. 
However, I am allowed to take sinus decongestant tablets. This has a sticker over it with the address of my pharmacy. So I, these, um, these are not prescription. These are over the counter. I do need to produce ID and everything to get them. Um, these are the tablets I actually was taking to get myself off the nose sprays because these would provide that just... Okay, getting off the nose spray was so much different. But these would at the time just relieve that excessive pressure um, but basically these do what the spray does but it lasts longer and these are less addictive um, and honestly like there's 12 in here and I've only taken six uh, since June so I mean I had the flu for two weeks or like 10 days to two weeks and I have taken one of these while well, I've got the cold now I took one earlier which is why my nose is opened um, but yeah, so I only took five during the whole ten days. Also, I had cold and flu medicine. I am allowed to take cold and flu medicines that have the decongestants in them, as well as um, some of your cough medicines and stuff have decongestants in them. Nowhere near as strong, um, but I am allowed to take those. I'm just not allowed to use the sprays. So thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and um, social media sites and everything will be linked in the description box down below. I'm actually going to go take all my makeup off now so I can use that sinus wash today because I have to get up at 5am in the morning again um, and tomorrow is supposed to be like 37 degrees so tomorrow is supposed to be hella hot. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.